Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a tab style menu for a Brian Squarespace website. Now, before we get started with any codes, it's really important to know this is for Brian themed templates in version 7. If you're using the latest version of Squarespace, known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you and a link is in the description below. But if you're building an older site working with the Brian themed template in Squarespace 7, you're in the right place. The code we're going to use today is going to add a background color to your main navigation links and we're going to add an interesting hover effect to it as well. So there are a few parts of this code you're going to want to change. Let's hop into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how it works. So here we are in my demo site. I have three pages in my active navigation and we're currently on page one. Now this code is listed in the description below, but I'm just going to copy it right here out of my demo site and we'll navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. That's where we're going to paste this code. Now let's take a look at what this code does here. Immediately you can see my menu's already changed a bit. Those navigation links kind of shifted around the page and now I have this gray bar behind that creating that tab style or almost bookmark effect, if you will. What I've done is I've added this light gray as a background to my active navigation item. I'm on page one and that's the active item. So it's going to give it that background color. You can change that to, uh, let's say the word orange if you want to, or you could change it to whatever hex color code you happen to know. Feel free to type that in there and adjust that to the right color for the style of your own website. Now, after that, it's really important to note we have padding and margin. That is gonna be very specific for the font size and the logo size on your own website. So I want you to feel um, encouraged to play around with these numbers here. Right here, padding of six REM and one REM, that suits the style for the font and the logo that I have on my demo site, but it's gonna be different for you. It might be nine, for example, it might be four. It could be something that's completely different from what I have, same with the margins. I want you to adjust those numbers until they look perfect for your own website, okay? Now, after that, I wanted to create a hover effect as well. So I'm gonna copy this second piece of code here, also in the description below, and we'll paste it right here into our website. Let's take a look at this. We have something very similar to what we have for this blue effect, but it says header nav item hover, change the background to this lighter blue. So now when I hover over these other pages, I'm getting a lighter blue. Pretty interesting, right? Now after that, I've also added a hover effect for the active item. I think it's important for the browser or the person who's exploring the website to know they're already on that page. So I'm going to change that code to the color code that I have for my active item. Okay. So now when I hover over these other pages, they're going to be that lighter blue, but my main page stays the same color. So they know, Oh, I'm already there. You totally don't have to add that. If you don't want to, you can completely remove that line and whatever page they hover over is going to be that lighter color from this line right here. So that's it for this super quick tutorial today. Again, adjust those color codes so that they match your own website and play around with the padding and the margin values until it's just the right size for the size of font in your navigation as well as your logo. The codes are pasted below so you can just copy and paste those in your own site and have some fun. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.